United States of Paranoia Conspiracy Theory by Jesse Walker. Part one. Part one this. No wait, no. And what kind of book is it you got here? It's, it's one of all conspiracy theories. Really? Yeah. It's uh it's got just about everything. And how did you get this book again? Well, it randomly came into me sent to me from the mail. I got it with three seasons of Roseanne. <laughs> what? Yeah. Three seasons of Roseanne in the conspiracy book? Damn. Man, they give you like a care package. Yeah, man. I swear. Man. People love me, so they just send me whatever whatever they think I might want to read. So. Bless their heart. Yeah. They know they have good taste. That's what I got to say about that. Hey, you know what that could mean? It could mean that we have some serious loving fans because I mean they they heard that we're going to be starting the new show Conspiracy One on One next month. I mean not next month, next year. And uh, you got yourself a fucking fan now, man. Yeah, that's right. Help us out. Yeah, I like that idea. That's pretty nifty. The paranoid style is American politics. If men define situations as real, they are real in their consequences. William and Dorothy Thomas. On January 30th, 1835, as Andrew Jackson exited a congressman's funeral, an assassin drew a weapon and pointed it at the president. A pistol misfired. The gunman pulled a second weapon from his cloak. Though loaded, it too failed to fire. Yo, bro, dude, you might want to come look at this. What are you talking about? Um, I'm looking at the evidence because we're cause we're filming this for educational purposes, and uh, when I went to play back the second one, uh, it appears as if you were in the fucking kitchen. Oh, not no fucking kitchen. Come look. I was right here reading. Because I panned over this way because I was fixing my shoe. Uh, what's that look like to you right there? Who is that? That looks like you, man. Oh, man. Hey. How could that be? Wait a minute, dude. Is there anything in that book about do doppelgangers? I don't know what, what are you talking about, doppelgangers. It's nonsense. It's apparently your spirit double, and if you see it, you're, you're supposed to die. Well, I'm still here, ain't I? Dude, but. This is because you've seen it. I didn't see shit. I know, but still, though, if you think about it, Abraham Lincoln saw his doppelganger. Uh, and he died. Abraham Lincoln died on his, man. But I saw yours. But on most adventures, Aaron saw Nick's. So maybe I need to go check it out and see if you're just full bullshit. Okay. I can show you the footage when we're done there. You'll see, man. I ain't fucking with you. I saw what I saw. Anything in there, is there? Fuck man. Oh fuck. Shit man. Whoa. What the fuck? Tim. She's fucking balls. Oh fuck, he's dead. Beyond the Vlog, Doppelganger. This is Anthony Gary, and I'm Sam here today. Well, this one was on Doppelganger, and uh, now we're going to give you some little education on what Doppelganger actually means. Oh, yes, Doppelganger. German for double goer in fiction and folklore literally means that in a double goer is a paranormal double of a living person. And it also describes the sensation of having glimpsed over oneself and own peripheral vision with no chance of supposed phenomenal having been a reflection. So basically saying you're walking around and then you just see like a carbon copy of yourself, like a, your twin. No way. 
Now you go to your mom and be like, did you have a twin? Because I only thought I was the only child. No, it's not your sibling. It's something else. What is that something else? Well, I remember a, uh, from the Ghost Adventures episode at Waverly Hills, there's a guy who worked there. His name was Steve. He worked on the hill, and he was a tour guide. And they called him and asked him why did he come downstairs, stare at them, and then go back up. Well, Steve claimed that he wasn't even on the hill yet. He wasn't there. So they saw Steve's doppelganger at Waverly Hill Sanatorium, which that is one of the legends that they tell you if you go investigate there, that they have claims of the shadow entities and also doppelganger cases. And if you watch episode, that episode, I think, if I remember correctly, Aaron saw Nick's doppelganger in the room behind them. So the legend has it that if you see your doppelganger, you're supposed to die. Yeah, so if you're ever walking around, and you see somebody that looks just like you and your peripherals, yeah, that's just keep on going and ignore it. <laughs> Luckily you just don't see it face to face. Oh yes. As always guys, I'm Anthony Geary. I'm Tim Harding. There's always, There's always light, light beyond, beyond the, the dark. dark. Special message from Timothy Hairdink. All right, yes. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, I had received some gifts from a fan, I suppose. And uh, we start out with the book, The United States of Paranoia, a Conspiracy Theory by Jesse Walker. I have yet to, yet to read all this book, but I hope to read it soon. It looks very nice. It has bag masking, Illuminati, zombies, the Geneva Club, pod people. Just about anything you can think of. So, looking forward to that. My second book, The New Position, Irrational Rationalism, and the Title of Science. Oh, joy. That's an interesting title cover page there. Yeah, looks kind of scary. I have to give that one a look at. And last but not least, three seasons of Roseanne. Oh yeah, they must have been like, well, he's from Evansville, and the outside scene of the house is from Evansville, so he might like Roseanne. Oh, there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. But they didn't even give me the first three seasons. They gave me seven, eight, and nine. No, huh. that's not even right. Hey, do you think it might have something to do with something of... Is this like a puzzle or something? They give you only... It might be. Either way, whatever its meaning is, thank you for all the gifts. I'll be sure to watch all those in while I read my conspiracy books. And for all you out there, just remember, there's always light beyond the dark. Yes, sir. Take care, guys.